Hey there! In this video, we'll have a look at the administration's order overview as well as the order details. We can find that overview here on the left. Orders, Overview. This opens up a new menu for us, showing us all orders we've received in our store. By default, this menu provides a summary of the most important data for every order in this overview already. For example, the order number, the sales channel it was placed in, the customer's name and address data, the sum total, and so forth. As in most other menus, we can open a detailed view of an order simply by clicking on it here on the left. Alternatively, we can use the button here and select View. As long as an order does not have a document created for it, like a delivery note or an invoice, we can also select Delete here. Let's see what the detail view looks like. Right off the bat, we can see the order detail view is split threefold. We have the General tab, the Details tab, and the Documents tab. In the General tab, we have the essential data like the order number, the customer's name, when the order was placed, the chosen payment and shipment methods. We also have an overview of the products and quantities as well as the prices which the customer ordered. Discounts and tax calculations are listed here as well. Everything affecting the total sum. Up here we have the various statuses regarding payment, delivery and order status. We can change these accordingly as well by clicking on it and selecting from the drop-down menu. For example, if we have shipped the order to our customer, we could set the delivery status to Shipped. The Details tab includes additional information for payment, shipping and the order overall. Let's check that out next. At the top, we find the payment data and can select from the statuses we've seen before. Right next to it, we can also see when the various statuses were changed and by whom. Down below, we can change shipping data, like select different addresses, adjust the shipping cost, or add a tracking number from our shipping provider. Again, we can change the statuses regarding shipping here and see who changed them and when. Finally, in the order section, in addition to being able to change the statuses again, we can change the customer's mail, phone number, affiliate codes, campaign codes, and enter additional information as well, if we want. That last bit is for internal users. You could write a note in here for your employees and colleagues, for example. The final tab concerns documents for that specific order. Documents include invoices, cancellation invoices, delivery notes, credit notes, and cancellations for returns. We can create new documents of the desired type with a button here. Let's create an invoice for this example. We'll select Invoice, click on Create Document, agree with the invoice number and date, and abstain from entering a comment. Of note is the button down here now. By default, it simply creates the document we just set up. We can also click on the arrow here to get more options, like create and send the document via email to our customer, or to create and download the PDF file. Don't worry if you miss the right option on this button, you can still do all of that later. If we did pick a less than optimal option before, this button right here allows us to send the document or download it as well. As we can see, the overview now shows us that on the 20th of February, a document with this number was created, is of type invoice and has not yet been sent to the customer. Now, in order to show you the final important detail which you can do in the order overview, let's assume that the customer contacted us. They did place an order but made a mistake. They wanted the order to include a different product as well. No problem. In the General tab, we can also edit the products and prices pertaining to this order. I could, for example, add a product with the button here. It adds a new position to our order and we can double click it to start editing. We change the amount here, select the product here and finally click the Save button. And just like that, Shopware added them for us with the default prices. Of course, we can adjust these as well if we want to, simply by double-clicking them. Let's say they cost 20. Click the Save button and done. We could also delete items from our order again with the option in the menu here. Remove from order. And with that, we come to the conclusion of this video covering the order overview and its details.